My name's Hello. Emma. I'm the social media editor for beauty and wellness here at Who What Wear. I'm joined by Tasha Lako Brown. Hello. Celebrity makeup artist and Chanel makeup ambassador. Today, Tasha's going to show us how to create the perfect holiday makeup look using all Chanel makeup best selling products, which you can shop during the live stream. Mm -hmm. We're going to wait a couple of seconds to let people join. So I want to ask you guys, what are you most excited about for the holidays? It could be the festive nail colors that you love, food, holiday PJs. Let us know in the comments what you're most excited for. And now I'm going to throw it to you. What are you most excited for, Tasha? Cookies. Immediately. Cookies. cookies. I think that I know how to bake a bunch of really amazing festive cookies, like eggnog cookies and creative snow globe cookies and I cannot they never turn out right but I give it a try every year so I'm excited just to bake cookies and sit at home and go to a couple parties just relax and really take in the whole year that I've had and celebrate that so yes holidays it's my favorite time of year my mm -hmm. tree is already up oh me too I can't wait um I can't wait for cookies too and if you are just joining, my name's Emma, social media editor for beauty and wellness here at Who What Wear, joined by Tasha Lego Brown, celebrity makeup artist and Chanel makeup ambassador. Tasha's gonna show us how to create the perfect festive holiday party makeup look using all Chanel best-selling makeup products, which you can shop during the live stream. And we're gonna be doing a Q&A with Tasha at the end of the tutorial. So be sure to drop your makeup and beauty related questions for Tasha in the chat and we will answer them at the end. But I think we can jump into it. I think we can jump into it. So today we're going to do a holiday beauty look that anybody can wear. It is very dramatic. It's high drama, but it's also very classic. We're going to do the classic holiday bold red lip, but we're going to keep it really, really modern and mix up the textures of the face going with, instead of matte skin, we're going to go with satin skin. So the skin still has life and we're going to do the lip in a really dramatic high shine, bold pigment, all the way red lip red lip very 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 festive so the most important part of this look other than the lip is the skin texture i think summer skin was really really dewy mm -hmm. and bounced back a lot of light i don't really like matte skin it's very unnatural to the eye and i think once you start to see makeup in one place of the face you see makeup everywhere on the face so we're going to keep the skin really really fresh and we're going to make sure that we have a very satin texture we started a little bit of the skin prep off camera so we can get right to the fun, bright, bold, sparkly stuff. I prepped her skin with the micellar water on a cotton pad just to take away any surface oils to make sure that I'm not fighting myself later. With your skincare, you want to make sure that it's thoughtful to the end result so you don't do something with skincare that you're going to have to just keep reversing with product. Like mm -hmm. you don't want to use oil-based skincare if you're going for something satin because then you'll have to correct it with products which means you have to put more powder so really be mindful of your skincare for the end results and because we're going satin i want to make sure all the oils were off so we prepped with micellar water and then under the eye we use the hydra beauty again not one level of moisture fits all she has really really well balanced skin so we didn't need something crazy heavy emollient and then all over, this is my favorite moisturizer for colder months. It's so good it is when you apply this. I was like, it's velvety. what is this? Yeah. Right? It's like yeah. very velvety, cushiony. It's the Sublimage Balm, and it feels good on the skin. It is a level of wow. moisture that it's the texture, so actually. luxurious. But you see, it's very, it's very, it's thick, but it's also thick enough for winter, but not like heavy on the skin, not greasy on the skin. Yeah. As you can see it just sort of melted, it blended down into the skin. It gives us hydration without greasiness. And because we're going with the satin texture, we use the mattifying base. I love because that. I love the yeah, base because good. we're going to use the Le Beige foundation, which is very satiny, but I want to make sure I can kind of add light where I want mm -hmm. to. And you want to be photo strategic. ready too. You want to you want to be good photo for ready. holiday parties. This is like a filter in a bottle. So you yeah. can kind of already see where typically when you have really hydrated skin where moisture would already start to show. It's already sort of mattified and really beautiful. So we're really just going to use just a touch of foundation when we get to it. But the last tip and trick, I have this more super much. I'm just going to give it to myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything left over, just apply it. I don't like to waste the super balm. No, there's no wasting of Chanel. But we also have the Hydra Beauty, the lip balm. I 
love this lip balm. I think you said that you wear this day to day. Yeah, well. I love it. Yeah. The trick, the trick when you are doing a really bold lip is you don't want to over moisturize your lips. I know it sounds good. Like, uh, how do I not really, really want to over moisturize because you don't want your lips dry where the color will catch if your lips, you know, any peeling. Mm -hmm. But if you over moisturize your lips, what you're doing is you're laying down a layer of emolliency that your lip color can't get to your skin. It'll never really bond with the skin. It'll sort of always be floating mm -hmm. and you'll have to do just touch up after touch up after touch up. So yeah. with your lip, with your lip moisturizer, just be really mindful to be on the as needed lighter end mm -hmm. and stay away from the borders. So your lip color doesn't feather out into any fine lines around your mouth. Such that a good tip. Really. Yeah. That's my yeah. favorite tip. Cause I think, um, I think sometimes people run on autopilot. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to do, so I go, but I think when mm -hmm. you think about keeping your skincare as strategic as you keep your makeup routine, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Like you, you're really strategic with placement on makeup, be really strategic as well with skincare. So, well prepped, I am going to use, I've already, for speed, I have on my brush, I have the LeVage, we're using BD31. And as you can see, really even skin tone. I don't want to add to any I don't really want to put makeup where she doesn't need it. I think there's just a little bit of redness in the center of the face. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go in in the center of the face. Someone's asking what brush this is as well. What brush this is, this is the foundation brush. I like it because it gives me a lot of control. But my favorite reason for loving this brush is, as you see, when I put the coverage on. And this part takes the longest. Mm. when I'm doing makeup is it really allows me to press the foundation into the skin. And someone said, how does the product not get streaky? Is that the pressing technique? It's the pressing technique. I think when, when you just kind of, if you, if it gets streaky because you're going like this, there's mm -hmm. too much product on your brush. I think you need to build slower Okay. because you should only have enough product where it's not going to streak. There's very little on my brush. So you don't see it running. You just kind of see such a good a little bit. Yeah. But take your time. I'm definitely guilty. Like I saw someone comment this. I am guilty of running on autopilot for yeah. my makeup. Yeah. because, And especially with a holiday party, you want to give yourself time to get ready. But then you end up having like 30 minutes. So it's nice to, you know have these tips and tricks that kind of make a difference, but don't take that long. Don't take that long, but as someone like I specialize in red carpet and press. Mm -hmm. So if I don't take the probably the three extra minutes doing this step, I'm going to spend that, you're going to spend that time later with mm. blotting papers or doing touch-ups with powder. So you could spend a little more time here and you're actually saving yourself time on the other end. And another- it's beautiful. It's very mm -hmm. even, very clean. You can't see where I've applied it because I've pressed it into skin at the very end, sort of just feathered it out. It's so light. I can't, it feels like nothing's on my skin. I love kind of just a little feather too, to make sure it's there. And then wow. it's gorgeous. And then if you, if you have any left, most people do have a, you can see that little bit of light that's mm -hmm. in between. I'm going to show you how to bridge that gap. Sometimes I just like to take a little foundation just a pinch to even it mm. out, but I'm going to do it with a little bit of the color later. So you really have an all over seamless and you won't be able to see the coverage at all. Amazing. And I'm just going to set it with my favorite, the natural finish loose powder in 30. Just a little, the tiniest bit is on this brush. You can see it mattifying out mm -hmm. this side versus that side. And the same pressing technique. The same pressing technique. I think when you can always tell when your your technique is off with this because they'll end up in your um they'll end up in your lashes or end up on your <laughs> yeah, clothes. Or on your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like powdery. Like, and then Yeah, you, on your clothes. Mm -hmm. You'll see wearing it. a black dress, you could totally see it if it was happening. It'll go everywhere. And I think, a, you know, a lot of times you just want to get the makeup on and you want to move on. So there's totally. a quickness to it, but also there we go. Do you take time and enjoy doing your makeup? I really do. For me, it's self-care and mm -hmm. it's therapeutic. 
because I'm a busy mom. I'm a busy mm-hmm. makeup artist. Mm-hmm. I'm just busy in general. So this is the version of me time. If mm-hmm. I'm really looking at how I live my life, I don't have time for candles in a bath. And that's not something that I enjoy. I think mm-hmm. you, I just really it took me a while to realize like, what do I like? And then just spend extra time doing what I like totally. is my version of self-care. It looks so beautiful and it feels so light on my skin. It's seamless, it's gorgeous, but we're going to stay in the mode of keeping things really clean Mm -hmm. and really assessing the face. I'm going to just brush your brows into place. I think your brow has a really good arch. I think it has a really strong tail. Mm -hmm. I don't think it needs to be filled in. I think Mm -hmm. that Again, sometimes you're like, oh, well, now it's time for a brow. But if you don't need it, I think you're okay. I feel like a clear brow gel, fluffy brow is having such a moment right now Mm -hmm. where you can just apply that. And it's so easy, but it really transforms your look. It transforms your look. Like I use brow gel in my brows because they tend to, they fall straight a Mm -hmm. little bit. Um, I can't get them to stay up. So I put the brow gel and then my favorite technique with brow gel is when you brush it up, I like to hold it and let yeah. it dry. I think I've seen people just go really fast. I'm like, no, it's not, it's not setting. You're not giving it time to set. And that's part of taking the time. Mm-hmm. But your brows really sort of follow their own direction. They just need a little bit. Yeah. Brush them up. I think they want to be fluffy. Yeah. Like brush yeah. them up and out. And this look, to keep it fresh, I think we're just going to stay with the things that I enjoy about your face, which is not too so sweet, <laughs> not too heavy brow, really fresh skin. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. And I think, you know, when you're doing a really heavy, not heavy, when you're doing something really vibrant on the bottom, mm-hmm. I just want to make sure that there's a balance. So I want to give the eye something because I don't want it too raw. Some for, I like it really raw for editorial, mm-hmm. but on something like this, I just want to make sure to define your eyes. Mm-hmm. Nothing, um, Nothing too bold. I'm just going to take my favorite liner. It's just like a soft brown. It has a little bit of sparkle in it. And look straight up for me. My dual ended brush. And in the crease, look down. And make sure I give it a good blend. Let me see. I'm using this as my mirror. That was so simple and it already has so much more definition. Just a little bit. It's kind of a little bit of shadowing mm-hmm. as opposed to just a shadow. Mm-hmm. A little bit on your lash line. It's so beautiful. I know. I think when it comes to eyes, I think a lot of people, you know, go with a more complicated route. Like there's always Mm -hmm. a shade that's in the crease. There's a shade that's on the lid. There's a shade that's on the, Mm -hmm. but I think a lot of times you can just use one or two colors. It really simplifies what you're doing. Mm -hmm. See? So pretty. Like that's only one product. It's a tiny bit. Wow. It's very subtle. Angle towards you. Thank you. <laughs> it's very subtle, but it sometimes it's the little touches that mm-hmm. add the most impact. It's all about technique. It's all about technique, and it's all about, honestly, blending. 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 Makeup becomes invisible, or makeup is when it melts down into the skin, mm-hmm. which is why I love this pencil. It's waterproof. And most times when you put something that's too emollient on the eye, it's going to go everywhere Mm. during the day because the eyelid gets oily. There's Mm -hmm. sebum on the eyelid, but this is waterproof, so it stays put. I know my eyeshadow always creases when I put too much. That mattifying base is, I like to tap it on the lids as well. Yeah, it's a good tip. Let's see. Oh my gosh. A little bit little pinch of something i would go back in one time and look straight up i 
And oh, that's why I like to go, go back and We're go in and, and go. go and add as you go. Mm -hmm. And symmetry doesn't happen on the first try. Mm -hmm. Jump back in. Let's see. That's why it's the right amount of definition for the eyes. And we are linking the exact products on the side of the channel so you can shop along with us as we go. Someone is asking, how do you recommend taking off waterproof eye makeup? I recommend taking off waterproof eye makeup. Again, I think it's just with the micellar water. So mm -hmm. for me, if you make a mistake and you use actual eye makeup remover, in the ingredients, there's always just a little pinch of oil and they'll leave behind the oily residue. And then when you're going back in to fix that mistake, yeah. you're trying, you can't quite get underneath the oil. If it's waterproof, it's not that sometimes you need something really strong to remove it. It's sometimes that you just need more patience. So if you have your cotton pad, these are my favorite cotton pads because they're really plush and you can Ooh. turn them over. But I love my, oh my gosh, Chanel, my Chanel cotton, cotton pad. pad. If you hold it and sort of let it break up those waterproof properties, I think people kind of hmm. work it. at it. Yeah, if you work at it too much, you just give it time. Let it sit, let it sit, and then give it a good swipe away. Why do I want that Chanel cotton pad so badly? <laughs> It really, so you know cute. What? it makes a great gift because it comes it in this beautiful big box and oh. I, it takes me so long to go through and it, because they're so plush, sometimes I can just rip them in half Yeah, and you can use one for the whole face and just flip it over. Wow. This is, this is our sparkle. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have so much, I can't wait for the sparkle. I have so much sparkle on me. <laughs> it's like I'm just glowing, but this is, look at that sparkle. sparkle. Okay, I can't wait to see where you place this. So this, I love this sparkle. Actually, you know, I'm gonna just for ease, you see how easy it is to apply it. Yeah. Just with your finger. Mm -hmm. Beautiful gold shimmer shimmer. Wow. Oh my gosh. Glowy, glowy. You know, for me, I, I know a lot of people like to apply in the center of the, more towards the inner corner. I like to apply it on the center of the eye, right above the iris, just because it really makes the eye pop. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <gasps> we just transported ourselves into holiday makeup <laughs> with one product. And that is so pretty. It's so pretty. And I'm also doing the same thing for long lasting. I'm working in layers. Mm -hmm. and I'm applying it with my pinky finger because it has the least amount mm. of space because it's tiny. But then I'm blending it with my ring finger, which has the least amount of pressure. Oh my gosh. Great tip. I need this eyeshadow. Let's see. I need it. This is what I've been so missing. So pretty. And it's wet, mm -hmm. but it dries down into a powder that does not move. Wow. Let's see you put on here. So I have the cream of it all. And then if I let it sit, let it sit, it'll give me this nice, great budge proof texture. Someone said they need a, a book of your makeup tips. <laughs> I second that. I would buy that in a heartbeat. It's so pretty. I love it. So Look at that, gorgeous. you guys. And I like this better than sort of going to the inner corner. It's really subtle, but it's really festive. And I think that's what everyone's looking for. I think it's really subtle because the lip is going to take up so much energy and so much space. Yeah. Um, but it's also that little bit, it's my number one tip, whether you're putting something shimmery on your eye or not, is even if you skip eyeshadow, is to give your mascara a beautiful, bright backdrop. So yeah. even if it's a little bit of foundation or a little concealer left over, just tap it on your eyelid, because sometimes you have that natural pigment and then it brightens it and it gives your mascara just a beautiful, I it's, love it's a backdrop. That yeah, I love just that like look. a gorgeous, clean. Yeah, clean. Look, Look down. I'm so oh, yeah. short. Look at my little. <laughs> let me squint. Let me squint down. <laughs> and look down. Perfect. Just a little wiggle at the base and pull it through. And not too much. Just kind of acknowledging the lashes. Mm -hmm. And the wiggle at the base is so the most product is deposited there. Mm -hmm. 
I think sometimes people put it on the ends of the lashes. It, um, it weighs them down. So if you curl them, your lashes are really curly. If we curled her lashes, they we would probably them. go there. <laughs> but it just has, if you put it, just clump it there. You know, product is heavy. It doesn't seem like it, but this will it'll weigh it down. I'll straighten them down. Just make sure that most of the product is right at the lash line. It also helps really, really define the lash lines, especially if you're not doing like a deep liner. What's your personal favorite makeup step like that you can't miss on yourself? You always will do. Oh my gosh, we're going to get to it at the end, but applying the balm essential, I cannot. Okay. It doesn't matter. I can't wait. It doesn't matter what I'm going on, what's happening. It is just my favorite step. I think for me, it's when it all comes together. People are asking, do you have any other tips for makeup or uh, mascara application? Because I know it's, some people can't get it. They feel like they can't get the right formula. They can't get the right technique. Well, for, you know, mascara, there's so many different kinds of mascara. Like I know Chanel, we have volume stretch. We have in the middle, we have Allure Noir. I think a lot of times if you're struggling with your mascara, consider the applicator. Mm. Consider, because I will show you just really quickly. This is inimitable, mm. right? And then I have so, like, volume stretch, but you just see they're very different. One has very smaller, so if I have really, really wispy lashes, this is really going to catch every single lash. Mm. But if I use something a little more bulkier, like it's so really consider if you're really struggling with it, that maybe it could be the formula or it could be the applicator as well, because that's very, very important. Okay. Like if I had wispy lashes, I wouldn't use a bulky applicator because mm -hmm. you're just going to end up with clumps every time or you're going to be fighting yourself the entire time trying to really smooth it out. Let's see. Beautiful. Clean. I love, yeah, clean, clean simple. easy lash, like peachy lid. And then I love it. we've got really acknowledged eyes, gorgeous skin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to really sort of just acknowledge your cheeks. I don't want to put on anything too bold. The this is probably going to end up being your favorite stuff. The Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronze. How did you know? Because it's legend for a reason. Because everyone loves it. It's, it's so good. It really is. It's a cream. It's gorgeous. It, You know, what it does is it's definition. It's a cream. So it really, really blends down into the skin. Especially if you pick the right brush. This brush is a dome. Mm. I think that that's, a, that's a really good tip to make sure you have the right brush that does what you want it to do. So you see how the dome, and then you flip it, the angle on it will contour your face It'll in the work right for way. you. Yeah. It'll really, really work for you. So make sure you're using the right brush, but just a little. Oh my gosh, guys. Just a little bit of sculpting without depositing any shimmer. And you're only applying a very little amount. I can feel like. It's very, very there's little. There's not on much brush. on there. Yeah. And it's and very light how it's you're very, applying it. Like you're very lightly applying it. Very lightly applying it. But also I think um, when people are applying something, a product that's meant to contour, for me, I am always, it, if you're struggling with it, a lot of times I'm like, actually get handsy with your face. Mm -hmm. Feel your face. Mm -hmm. There's my cheekbone. Here's the, probably where blush should go. Ah, highlighter should go here because mm. the bone rolls up, but really figure out where the bottom of your cheekbone is. And I think sometimes people are ambitious. They're like, I would love it if my cheekbone were here, but it's not actually there, which is when your eyes start makeup, your eyes start makeup starts to tell on you because when I'm looking at it, your eye perceives things as off if you're not actually contouring the bottom of the shape of your cheekbone. Does that make sense? It perfectly makes sense to me, but I'm just listening to everything and learning. <laughs> okay, a lot of people want to know what brush this is. This is the Chanel. It's a powder brush. It's a small powder brush. Okay. Um. So this right here, this is the blush brush. But because I wasn't applying, again, it's with paying attention to your brushes. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't applying a lot of powder, I really, I like the way this packs it on because it's tighter. This is so fluffy that it wouldn't really, but I just wanted to really pack. So your brushes will kind of also just 
because it says it's a blush brush, don't only think you can use it just as a blush brush. Okay. It's probably best as a blush brush because it really will give you concentrated, make it really, really easy. But if you, depending on what your needs, you can use a brush off label. <laughs> okay. It's all about making what you have work for you. Make, also. make yeah. what you have work for you and mm -hmm. also trial and error and play with it. And mm -hmm. So, okay, this is the part that I love the most, guys. So you see skin tone, the sun is here. So the sun usually hits here. It's here. So it always misses here. Yeah. And if you really, really, for seamless for a red carpet, this is my just to kind of. I always forget this step. And you can do this with your foundation. Not too much, but just like a little. Do you see how the colors are sort of melting mm -hmm. together now? So it really doesn't look like there's any coverage on her face because. The color is seamless. Let me see. Beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of blending it all together. Mm -hmm. Working in layers. I don't want too much. But that is my number one. Let's see, back up a bit. We're blended. Yeah, it kind of brings the color down. Cohesive. Cohesive. It. Cohesive, gorgeous. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of blush. This is a light rose color. I'm using a light rose color because I already see those tones in your face. Mm -hmm. I don't just want to jump out. You know, berry, because oh, yeah. if we're doing a berry look, but I'm really trying to stay complementary to your the tones that you already have, I'm just trying to boost them a little bit. The, oh my gosh. Just that little bit makes a huge difference. You think in the apples where you would actually blush. So I know sometimes people bring blush back, but it depends on your face shape. If you have more mm. round shape, then you would blush there. Mm. But that for your face is not a place where you would organically blush. So we're only going to put it on the apples of your cheeks. Mm. Yeah, because sometimes I bring it up and I bring it into my temples. Mm -hmm. Can this be a weekly series? We would like that. <laughs> Tasha and I we, were brainstorming. No, we, were just, we were brainstorming before. We're like, how can we take our show on the road? <laughs> show on, on the locations? road. Locations. We were going to do like next time. We'll do holiday beauty. Where were we trying to go? We're trying to go to Paris. <laughs> we were saying we can get, we can be secret Santas in front of the Eiffel Tower giving mm -hmm. Chanel lipsticks to passerbys in hats why not in hats mm -hmm. in 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 like fuzzy outfits and then we were going to do summer beauty on a yacht and we're going to laugh and giggle and show how waterproof it is and yeah like, and then we'll <laughs> jump in the we'll apply makeup and then jump in the yacht i i think this needs to happen i guys. really think look we comment already, below if you want we've that got to happen. one viewer so yeah <laughs> Yeah, so we're seeing some support. We're so thank you. Support. We're gonna get we're gonna make this happen. But this is the balance of the skin. And now mm -hmm. we're going to get to so the really nice. exciting part, which is the red lip? lip color. And uh, so it's gonna be glossy. I think when people hear glossy red lip, they're like, mm, it's gonna get everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to stay on top of it. It's just it is it gonna be worth the effort? Mm -hmm. But I think you need to build a foundation for a glossy lip. So, you know, all makeup is just vehicle and pigment, if you think of it that way. This is wax with pigment. And if you lay wax down, it's going to have a lot more staying power. Mm -hmm. And then on top of it, we're going to put lip color and then we're gonna put gloss. So you have such a strong foundation that it's really effortless and it's not gonna be really hard to maintain. Yeah, you could just keep your gloss in your bag when you're going to holiday parties. Yeah. yeah. Light Perfect. touch up. Blots them up. Perfect. And the blot is actually really, really important because you want to make sure, like we talked about before, you're not overhydrated. And I'm not going, I'm just kind of going to sketch in the center of the lips. Mm. It's not going to be the most beautiful, guys. But I don't want to take it to the border. That is a look sometimes where it's a really, really, really sharp border. That's not what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do more of a, more of like a stainy, beautiful. Mm. So I just wanna make sure lip color wears away in the center of the mouth the fastest. I just wanna make sure we have an extra layer in the center of the mouth. And again, bear with me. This is when I like it to take the most mm -hmm. time 
turn towards me a little more. Perfect. Thank you. Mm. So filling it in, but again, not going to the border of the lip. And my the question I get the most, so flipping it over, the color is so pretty. We're off to a good start, but also flipping it over. Yep, there is a reason for this brush. It just kind of again no hard lines, so it'll feather it out. And I think for like the question that I get asked the most, or I'm sure you know that you get sent in the most, mm -hmm. is about the right red lip color, and I really. It's the question people ask me the most, but this is the question that there actually is no answer to because there is no wrong red lip color. I think it's all about how you present it. If we decided today to do a really deep oxblood lip, if her hair was slicked back, if maybe, you know, like it, it and, and we did a really, really raw eye, it would, it, that would work as well. Mm -hmm. If we did orange red, that would be beautiful for, you know, depending on what you're wearing. So there really is no wrong lip shade. Mm -hmm. It's just what men, I know I said, it makes you, it, but it's so true, is whatever makes you feel happy, whatever makes you feel confident is mm -hmm. the right lip shade. Mm -hmm. So that's it's a so light pretty. sketch. So right now it's more of like a watermelon stain. That's the perfect way to describe it. It's a watermelon yeah. stain, but yeah. emphasis on the stain. It's something that's really going to stay on all light. This is our building base. And then we're just going to go in with our beautiful lip color. And I'm also choosing a lip color that reflects a lot of light. Mm. So doubling down on the luminosity. This is precision even after precision. I drank the coffee. Mm -hmm. Drink so much coffee today. Mm -hmm. But again, when things bounce back light, it doesn't need to, you, you won't hard lines because the light is bouncing back so much. You have a little more wiggle room. It's when you do something matte and get it, and when your hard mm. lines need to be very, 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 very crisp. Mm -hmm. So Give me pretty. Good, it's so pretty. Is we're off to a good start. Tasha. Give me a good grind it in just a bit. Make sure it sits. Perfect. Stage one and hmm. back in for two and turn towards me a little bit. Now I have to get a little more surgical mm -hmm. as I'm going towards the end of the I love that this is helping Surgical. me because it's not so I have one end and then I have this end where mm -hmm. it's got a little bit of a turn on it. So it's easier to. And that's back to just making sure you pick the right tools. Someone asked. What Chanel beauty product makes the best holiday gift? What Chanel beauty product makes the holiday gift? Mm -hmm. The Balm Essential in Transparent, which we're actually going to use because it works on 100% of faces. Mm. You know, some beauty products are very personal and you kind of, you know, you need to maybe color match or, you know, you might need them there because mm. when people aren't in front of you, it happens to me too, their skin tone changes. I'm like, this would be perfect for her. Mm. But I, the Balm Essential works on 100% of faces and the cotton pads that we saw earlier perfect gift the cotton pads are really really such a it's such a good gift because it it's like that it's the very like luxe moment in your day-to-day -day. 
if that yeah. makes sense. Like it's just a very luxurious way to take off your makeup. And then going in, this is when we're gonna get our high shine. High shine. The lipstick already had shiny properties. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I definitely think like the cotton pads are great. Oh, you know what's a really, really, really great um, gift if you want to gift Chanel skincare, but you're not sure of their skin needs? The mm -hmm. Solution 10. Solution 10 works on everybody. It is, it only has 10 ingredients, mm. hence the name. And it is just, it's easy moisture. It's even great for the guy in your life, you know? Mm. It's like, oh, I don't. Men's skincare, you know, the Boy de Chanel, I love the gel moisturizer, but if you're really introing them to skincare, I am obsessed with the Solution 10 because I know it's not going to irritate anyone's face. They doesn't matter what they've done, if their skin's really sensitive, if they've just done lasers, Solution 10 is really great. Let's see. What do you think? think? This is beautiful. Like it's bright. It's gorgeous. I'm ready to go to the holiday party. It's really gorgeous. But like now that we have the lip on, and that's part of like going back and assessing the face, we mm -hmm. can do just a pinch more on the cheeks. Finishing off the look. Finishing off the look with actually this and this is it. This, <gasps> this is, is the it, thing. guys. This is it. So it works on look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's like painting with light and there's no shimmer in it. It literally is just a transparent way for the skin to glow. And this is my favorite since it's like painting with light. This is my favorite. I like to put it where light would actually hit. Mm. So I love to put on the sides of the cheeks. It's perfect because it gives glow, but there's no shimmer. There's no shimmer. There's no it. color. It's like perfect. I like a very adult glow. There are times. It's an adult glow. There are times where I love like a shimmer or a highlight, but there's certain times, like depending on the look, where I'm like, you know what? I think I would like. And then the light would mm -hmm. actually get here. I love that spot. A little on the chin. Someone said the lips are giving candy apple, and I They're, have to agree. I love candy apple lips. That's perfect. That's a that's a perfect way to describe today's look. Candy apple, and I like to go into top of the brows. And guys, we're almost done the tutorial portion, so be sure to drop any makeup or beauty questions you have for Tasha in the comments so we can answer them during the Q&A. And close your eyes for me, and finally, just right Glossy lids. Glossy lids. You know, a lot of times, even if I've done a powder shadow, I don't like powder to be the last texture mm. that someone sees. So I'll go and I'll just tap a little on this as well. Let's see. I'm sold. I need this. But I you need can this. see, like, even any of your hairs down, but mm. where the light is, see on this side, like where the light hits it, we sort of bounced in a really gorgeous, lovely glow. Ta da! <laughs> oh, it's perfect so, uh, it's a really beautiful holiday look and the good thing about this holiday look is it literally works on anyone anyone can mm -hmm. sort of find their red lip whatever they deem beautiful whatever that makes them feel confident and pair it with just a gold shimmery eye with a lot of highlight on the face wow i'm obsessed it's i feel universal. so festive I, love it. I feel beautiful thank Hi, you so much of course okay we're gonna jump into the q a yes so let's scroll through some of these questions okay what's one step you never skip in your makeup routine that's the bomb essential yeah. i never skip this step and i'll kind of show you why because it just even on no makeup makeup days just on no like... makeup makeup days it just gives your skin a lot of light you know on no makeup makeup days my face feels a little flat sometimes mm -hmm. so then that's just one of the transparent works on anyone but i will go in and i'll use the sculpting the sculpting has a little bit of shimmer to it so that kind of really brightens my face but i really i just like when light hits my face it makes me feel more awake it makes mm -hmm. my skin feel more healthy because it's reflecting light it gives my face light mm -hmm. okay what are some big 2024 makeup trends that you anticipate we'll see in the new year? 
I think monochromatic makeup. I think a lot of monochromatic, like when we say um, she like strawberry girl, or when we mm -hmm. say latte makeup, all of those trends that I've seen this year are based around sort of a monochromatic face. So I think that will affect the palettes that we're going to see. I think they're going to all be centered around one color. Um, so that's a huge trend where I think, you know, now when those trends were popping up, those multiple products like Strawberry Girl had seven products and Latte Makeup had, you know, a ton of products. And then it was rolled into Espresso Makeup, which had a lot of products. I think we're going to tailor it down into like whether it comes in like sticks or more comprehensive, easy palettes to do that. with. Hmm. I can't wait. Yeah, I feel like monochromatic is, I think it is. the way that we're going to go. Um, okay, let's see here. Somebody asked, um, what's one amazing Chanel makeup product that deserves more hype? A product that deserves more hype is the Le Beige Foundation. Mm. I just, there's nothing really like it. It's what I use. You know, my, my work is very skin focused. So when I do a red carpet, it's the one that I grab, I just gravitate towards it all the time. And when you know, I hesitate, always hesitate, well, different skin types, different skin textures to say perfect, but I will use, it has to be just the most perfect coverage because even on textured skin, it's beautiful. On flawless skin, it's beautiful. On heavy coverage, light coverage, I can just stretch that out mm. in any place that I need to. And the shade range is flawless. Someone says, is it a foundation for people who hate foundation? It, it, you know what, it, that's it's kind of, it's is. a foundation for people who hate foundation because it looks like skin. Mm -hmm. And if you hate foundation, I, th I think what you hate about it is the feeling probably. Mm -hmm. It feels like skin because it's weightless. If you, you really have to, if you don't, stipple it on. If you don't like foundation, maybe don't use the brush, stipple it on as opposed to, or whisk it on. But the, the foundation like whisk it on so it's not so soft. So it really just take a little bit, feel seamless. Um, it looks seamless, you don't feel it and no one else is gonna be able to see it because it looks like skin. Okay, products you keep in your bag for holiday party touch-ups. Ooh, I keep the blotting papers. I love the blotting papers, the Chanel blotting papers. I don't have the blotting tissues. I don't have them here, but I love the Chanel blotting tissues. And you know, when you like spill something on your counter and you mm -hmm. grab a towel and you just kind of like go like this, but you're spreading the water everywhere. It makes more sense if you just like put the towel down and let it soak up the water. I think it's the same thing with blotting tissues. Make sure you're not going like this. I think a lot of times when I see people use them, they move too fast, like put it there and give it a second to really sort of draw the oil up and out of the skin. Mm -hmm. And I like using the Le Beige. It's now refillable. I like using the Le Beige powder. I don't want to keep putting matte powder, matte powder, matte powder. It eventually, the, my whole look falls apart because mm -hmm. so much of my look is dependent on the skin. I like using the Le Beige powder because it's just, it's a satin powder touch up. It's never going to take me too matte. I love it. People are saying they're starting a Tasha fan account and <laughs> please make a TikTok with all of these tips, which well, you need to. But do I need to make it to that with all these tips or do we need to go to Paris or go to London and shoot our holiday tutorial there? And then we can just do more tips there. And someone said, when is the next one of these? So exactly. <laughs> New Year's. New Year's. New Year's beauty. <laughs> okay. Last question. How do you find a beauty aesthetic slash makeup style that suits your face? Uh, I'm so boring when people ask me this because I'm always going to give you such no, a I positive. Love it. I promise you, like it suits your face if it makes you happy because you move differently. There's been times mm -hmm. I'm going to do a red carpet and the girl really wanted something. And I was like, oh, I didn't really want to do it. But then I did it and she moves differently, right? Mm -hmm. Had I forced her into, I mean, it, as long as it's not crazy ridiculous, but if I, if I had forced her into what I, you know, or kind of, something a little more traditional, she would have moved different. And I've, I've seen it when people are wearing a look or something that they don't really feel confident in. They're, every time someone brings out a camera, it's a big deal, or they're kind of like trying to show, change the makeup by the way they pose. It's, it's so much that it's better to just do what makes you happy and what you're gonna be comfortable in because you're gonna save yourself so much, um, so many uncomfortable moments throughout mm -hmm. the day. I think also find something that suits yourself just get a refresh every now and then because sometimes I'll see people with a look like, oh, I've been wearing this look since forever. I'm like, hmm, but we've evolved, you know, things evolve really fast and makeup evolves really fast. So just keep trying new things. And if you keep settling on the same look, 
that's the one for you. But I think you experiment more. You might find something new because it's just make it be and wash it off. You can wash it off and you can experiment and have fun. Mm -hmm. And that's the lesson. I think that's all the time we have, guys. Um, Tasha, okay. Thank you so much because I feel like we've <laughs> learned so much. It's you have really so fun. much wisdom that you've given us. It's and really I just feel like this is the perfect festive holiday makeup look. Um, guys, we this available. This will be available to view and shop on Who What Wear. So we will leave a link in the comments below. And thank you so much for joining. Happy thank holidays. You. Happy holidays. Bye.